All right, welcome back to our next uh, Atlas Martial Arts Software walkthrough tutorial. Uh, for this session, all we're going to do is a quick walkthrough of all the navigation items uh, and sort of how you're going to move around the application, how you're going to move around the software uh, to be able to help manage your school better and, and increase enrollments and really sort of take a lot of the heavy lifting off your shoulders and, and put it into our automation engine and have Atlas help you with a lot of these things. Uh, so let's start with the top left-hand corner. In the, on, along the top of the screen, you're going to see uh, what, what most of our members consider to be the most common functions that they need quick access to. Uh, uh, instead of uh, having to dig around and find you know, buttons to, uh, to function, to do functions inside the, inside the application, we have some, some easy shortcuts for you up here. Uh, first, obviously, is our e-request area. This is a demo application, so I, I don't have all the data that you'll have in yours. But from an, for, for an e-request, these are uh, it's an easy way to communicate with AMS for, for billing purposes. If you have uh, an account that you want to put on hold or an account that you want to credit or refund or whatever the case might be, you'll go to the e-request area. So for example, uh, by clicking e-request, you get sort of your e-request inbox. If you had e-requests sent back and forth from, from you and AMS, you'd have a list of them here. You could click on each one. Uh, or you can click this e-request button at the top, and it'll take you to your sort of your e-request inbox. And again, here is where you'll see, you'll be able to manage all of your e-requests that go back and forth between you and AMS. Uh, this, this is really useful. Our members use this very frequently uh, when we're managing their billing for them so that they can quickly send us a quick note, hey, put this account on, on hold, uh, refund this last month's payment, um, you know, whatever the case might, might be. So this is where you'll manage all that stuff, and we'll drill into all of this later. The second area is the sign-up area. This is basically an agreement. This is when a new student enrolls in your school. Uh, you'll, you, can go to the, you can go to the sign-up area and just complete the agreement from here. Um, um, this is just a, a, an easy way to, to get an agreement into the system quickly, uh, and you'll just follow the tutorial, follow the step-by-step uh, -step, uh, to get that agreement done. Next is the phone sheet. For lack of a better description, this is actually your lead entry form. This is where you're going to data enter your, your leads, your prospects, uh, especially if they come in by the telephone. But really, any prospect you can put in this, in this mechanism if you like. This is a rough phone script that actually is relatively well orchestrated. And it's, it's sort of a level three phone script. Uh, if you follow these steps, uh, you're using a, a, a proven system, a proven strategy. Uh, to generate appointments from phone calls. And as you enter their, the student's information and the parent's information, or whoever the case may be, into the system, you'll also have the opportunity to track it by their lead source uh, and also be able to set up an appointment. And all of that stuff integrates into the system automatically. Uh, and we'll, we'll, again, we'll walk through that in, a, in another tutorial. But that's the sign up section, I'm sorry, the phone sheet section. Next is check in. And I'm actually not going to go there. Well, yeah, let's go there. Let's go to the check-in area. This is actually going to log you out of the application and log you into the, uh, the check-in area. And this is where your students are going to, uh, they'll be able to check themselves in uh, as, a, as a student. So uh, if, if I'm, you can, you can put this on your screen, turn your computer around, point it at the front door. And if, um, uh, if students are in your database, they'll be able to type a few characters of their name, click on the person, hey, this is me, and they'll check in for your class. This is sort of like your attendance uh, mechanism uh, for uh, one of the ways that you can take attendance in our system. Next, let me get back in here, is the calendar. And the calendar obviously is relatively self-explanatory. You can track your appointments, your classes, your tasks, other events. Uh, all by staff member as well inside of your inside of your calendar. Um, this is functions just as you would expect a calendar to function. You can put all your classes in here. You'll put introductory appointments, uh, sales appointments, or enrollment conferences, renewal conferences, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And and this all ties into our automation engine on the back end uh, that we'll see later. Uh, next is the promote section. The promote section is is an easy way to advance your students either one at a time or in a group. And we'll get into that in detail later, but just know that any of your students in here, you can you can simply promote them, or you can promote them in a group by ticking a few people, 
and then promote them and they will be they will be promoted one step in your ranking system however you have those set up whether it's a stripe or a color uh, they will be advanced one step and we'll we'll talk to uh, I'll show you how that works later on in the setup area so that is our top navigation those are the top six navigation items that you're going to want to take a look at. Uh, if you go over to the right side of the screen, you'll see that we have our hide and show menu button. Uh, I'm sure if you've used any kind of a mobile device, this, this menu, this na uh, navigation element will be familiar to you. This gives you the ability to hide that side, that left sidebar navigation if you want to. For example, if you're on a mobile device, an iPad or a tablet of any type, uh, sometimes you may want to hide that over there so that you have more screen real estate. You can move around the app more smoothly. Uh, second is the power button. This obviously logs you out of the system. I won't be clicking that, but th that's what that's for. Next, this is the full screen option. This is actually a really cool uh, tool. If you want to get rid of this sort of web, you know, web browser uh, top, you know, header and footer, you can click the full screen option, and now your app will be full screen. This is actually a very useful uh, feature. Uh, to, to give yourself a little bit more screen real estate. And then finally, we do we have translated, manually translated our app into three languages, English, Spanish, and Korean. Uh, and again, these are manual translations, meaning that they're accurate. It's not just an algorithm. Uh, uh, so you'll be able to use the application and get familiar with the application in your native language, either English, Spanish, or Korean. So that's for the top navigation. We'll get into the side navigation in the next window. But th that's just a, a general walkthrough and a general uh, overview of our top navigation. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.